everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 300 and welcome back to Let's Demo the series where we test out some of the most up and coming slash most popular mods on the uh, community workshop for the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Today we're going to be doing a mod from a creator named a modder. I mean, at least he's like, at least he's honest, uh, called Covenant. This one is a mod that was created only, let's see, March 13th at 8.36 p.m., which was like mm, 16 hours ago. Sorry, I was trying to do my mental math, and that's just like, you ever heard the sound of like a calculator whirring? That's kind of what it was. Um, what this mod does, and believe me, we're not going to play this one to its completion because it's a little ridiculous. Um, but what it does here, if we go into mods, where did they go? Oh, there we go. Okay, so what it does, um, the mod itself is called Covenant. Turn off Synergy Catapults. Covenant, uh, it adds 101 challenges. So it's a giant challenge pack with 101 challenges based on Isaac's struggle with God and his family and the many horrors in his mother's basement while also dealing with abandonment. Small patches with more challenges and other themes in later developments uh, in Isaac's life may be, as well happen in the future. They will require this mod. All the challenges to save a library and shops. Good luck beating the game with the items provided. Um, and so I don't think any of these, like, from from what I can gander, if that makes sense. From what I can see, it seems like, oh god. Here's the question. It says Covenant Start. Does that mean I have to go through all of them in a row? Or is it okay if I just do them randomly? Because there's so many of them that I literally don't know what to do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little random number generator here. Let me just go ahead in between 0 and 101. And, well, what do you know? I didn't plan it. I didn't do it. We're going to do challenge 69, ignored by God, abandoned by family. And we're going to go for it. <laughs> We start with Abaddon and Loki's horns. Is that literally the only two items that we get? Also, my freaking... I need to get my cord for my microphone. Um, again, I don't know if seeds actually do anything. Oh, we also start with the Bible. C-Q-Z-M-R-L-Z-Y. So, I don't know if item rooms are as well disabled. Like, obviously, this is a fantastic start. Ab Abaddon's a pretty nice little damage upgrade. Loki's horns... Eh. Basically can... Go fudge itself. Oh, let me. Is there anything else I needed to say about the mod? Mm, I don't think so. Name's a modder. I want to make sure I give, like, biggest thing here is that we give credit to the people that did it. So, as long as we have that taken care of, I think we're good. And he said that, um, he said that, uh, I wonder if they all only go to mom's foot. I feel like if you make 101 challenges, although I guess setting where they go doesn't make much of a difference. The nice thing about this one also, uh, is that we're already at two out of three, uh, books required for the bookworm transformation since we start with the bible so if we can find a library of some sort or did he say that shops and libraries are disabled okay we'll have to find a book through other means then but that's still pretty good let's remember that we have the bible it's an item i often forget about um but yeah so i guess the main point of this are there item rooms there are not item rooms which i guess makes sense as well why is that guy okay there we go for some reason when he was trapped in place there is his flames weren't a flickering uh, but yeah, oh, by the way, I didn't use a random number generator to get this number. I used a calculator. <laughs> okay, Little Horn's going to be our first boss fight. I mean, you got to go with it, right? Got to go with it. Um, again, like, I could use... I could use our ability to fly on this room. I really just do not value the Bible whatsoever. It's going to be nice if we're still holding on to it by the time we get to Mom's foot. Um, because... We'll just get to get the kill instantly. But basically what this challenge is asking is with deal with the devils and boss row. I mean, as long as you're not getting speed upgrades. Uh, I will check out the curse room. What it's basically asking is, can you feel the love tonight? Oh, we paid for itself and then some. Um, it's basically asking uh, with only uh, boss rooms and deal with the devils. Can you? Oh my God, the money. If I had a key, I would definitely visit the shop, but we can't. I thought it said no shops. Is that a library? I don't freaking know. We don't have a key, so we can't find out anyway, so let's just go down to the next floor. Um, this one's basically saying, hey, with 5.86 damage base, that's, I mean, you can obviously get more if you get it from deals, or from, yeah, I mean, deals with the devil or uh, boss fights. It's basically saying, with that, can you make it to mom, mom's foot, and in which case I would hope... With, you know, near, nearing 600 hours in this game, I would hope that our answer to that question is yes. Man, I wish I would have, like, 
I wish I had the reflexes of not a fruit fly because I definitely would have should have realized that was a, uh, a spiky chest realized that we were not interested in partaking aren't there usually two flies in this room did one of them run into the god the spirit hearts are also kind of out of this world and I'm not complaining about that at all a key is good we can find out if these are libraries or shops they're shops so don't tell me that you got rid of shops when you didn't get rid of let me check make sure I didn't read it wrong all the challenges disable libraries and shops they must have meant um they must have meant libraries and item rooms, would be my guess. Um, just because they don't want you getting, I don't know, Book of Revelations, I guess, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, probably, it probably means item rooms and shops, but again, it's only been out for like literally less than a day. So, you know, some people might not have caught that yet. But uh, so far, I mean, it's that, that's the thing about this one. It, it's, it's nothing game-changing, and it's, it's nothing against... Um, the, the creator of the mod itself, it's, it's still more than I could do. Um, and 101 challenges is almost as good, nice as Dalmatians, but like, uh, creating 101 challenges is no small task, and I'm taking it. Creating 101 different challenges is no small task, <gasps> considering all of them are also themed. Um, but like, so if you're, if you're the type of modding person, uh, or if you're the type of person, like, that when you're looking for a mod that wants the, you know, the whole game to be changed, something just be radically altered, um, this may not be the mod for you, however, if you're someone like me that basically um, subscribes to the belief that, you know, if I have more content, I can see forever. Um, if I have more content and more Isaac to play, then I'm totally down for it, um, then you might like this mod. Uh, I did end up taking um, Fear Shot there, mostly for the extra damage. We're up to 7. Um, still a 10 tier stat, which we'd like to rectify as soon as possible. This room is not going to do it for us. Let's check our regular secret room as well, because we did get an I Can See Forever pill. We also can get this now, because we uh, got ourselves a bomb, and we can't open it unless we get a key from this. We didn't. We get an infested pill, so one spider. This secret room contains yet more money. Let's take a second look really quickly and see if there's anyone here. Let's open the golden chest. You never know when it could contain something like Guppy's head or uh, just a lot of consumables as well. Um, I think I will roll a little bit on the shop and just see if we can pick up something like, um, I guess something like Champion Belt would probably be what I'm looking for the most. Pretty much stat upgrades seem really important. This one, Jar of Flies is a great spacebar item. Yeah, I'll take Jar of Flies over the Bible. And now Hive Mind makes itself appear. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go into here. We have a zero luck stat, so I wouldn't anticipate us winning too much. Give me all the monies. All right, you give me none of the monies. I'm going to play a little risky here. I'm going to play this bad boy until we get to 15 cents. Which hopefully if we keep getting these double payouts, we'll be sooner rather than later. We are getting a lot of double payouts. Okay, 15 cents. Uh, and then I'm going to buy Hive Mind because it's going to make our jar flies even better. Uh, there's options also would have been really good, um, just because we wouldn't be stuck into the two speed upgrades that we've received thus far from the game. However, I still think we'll be just fine on this one, especially now that we have, um, Jar of Flies working for us. I, 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 I get, what was the name of this challenge even? I, I totally forgot. See, like, that's my own bad because, like, the whole point of this challenge is that they were themed and then that the items were gonna correspond with the themes. Um, and... You know, maybe I I failed in in not reading the actual name of the. Oh, I read it for a second, but I didn't read any further than that. So, I'm trying to think of how like Abaddon, Loki's horns, and and also it's it's also possible that just like my knowledge of Isaac lore might just be a little subpar. And that might be why I'm a little unfamiliar. Pop out these flies. Yeah, they're gonna do a lot. So like, let's let them take care of it. Curse room. I'd like to. Also. Uh, yeah, I'd like to, but, um, would you like to do a number with me? No, I'd like to, but, uh, maybe get a spirit heart first. Because I'd like to get rid of the spirit heart instead of the black heart. What do we got going on here? Uh, you might as well. We got a bunch of money, our key back, and a bomb, so definitely worth it. I don't know how I managed to dodge that. I guess thanks to the boss rooms for giving me all these speed upgrades. As much as I complained about them initially, they saved me from a little bit of damage there. And that's kind of nice of them. Um... But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't anticipate with this challenge having too much difficulty. Ah, da, 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 da. I think what I'll do is probably, um, after we finish this one, assuming we win and assuming we don't lose because I got rid of all my HP like a, 
a scrum bag. Um, I think what I'll probably do is just do a quick, like, rapid fire. I'm not going to do all the challenges, obviously, because going to Mom's Foot on all of them would be a pain in the butt. But, like, maybe pick out some ones that sound, the names sound interesting. And we can just look and see uh, what items you start with to kind of see, like, oh, well, this has an interesting... This has interesting implications, this interesting synergy, blah, blah, you know, random commentary, dot wav, you know. Uh, we have 20 flies ready, so let's go ahead and devastate whatever boss we're fighting. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. We'll take the HP because it's a viable trade. If we want to trade it away, trade it away, trade it away, trade it away now. So what we do here is we take, I mean, it doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to be pay, We're going to be down back to three hearts. We'll start with the two heart Incubus, and then we'll take the three heart Sin Robes. Either way, we're going to end at three hearts. Uh, somewhat doubling our damage with uh, Incubus, and we're now up to nearly eight damage overall. Does it look a little framey to you guys? I think I got to get something figured out with my computer because it's running, it's been running a little, uh, a little more laggardly lately, if that's what the kids are saying nowadays. Uh, yeah, it's been running kind of slow lately, and I really don't know why. Um, I was recording Banjo-Tooie. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this video and you just love Banjo-Tooie, because why wouldn't you? I will go in here. Um, if you're watching this video and you love Banjo-Tooie, we have a series on this channel of Banjo-Tooie, and you should absolutely check it out because it's been a great time. It paid for itself, uh, so that knowledge is power. What does that say? One? Oh, someone drew a penis out of rocks. That's messed up. Uh, yeah, we're playing Banjo 2 as well, so, you know, if that's the kind of thing you're into, you want to check it out, definitely highly recommend it. We're in Witchy World right now. Episode 11 just came out last night. I'm scared. Um, episode 11 just came out. Oh, God, Fear Shot with these guys is not fun. Episode 11 just came out last time and have a, a grand old time with it. Hagalaz, just, like, blow up these mushrooms away from harm. Uh, we do get Liberty Cap, which at the very least is a trinket we didn't have. The gods is a spirit heart. I'll take it. Two Alger's runes and a black rune. Was there anything in the shop, like a, a space bar item that we could buy and then just suck up? Uh, no, but we could buy Sackhead. And I will buy Sackhead. I don't think there's anything else on the floor that we wanted to suck up. World card. World card. Um, I think we'll just hold the next floor because it'll be speedier. The, basically, the faster I can get... Like, Alger's rune is obviously better, but world card can kind of let us get to our boss fight quickly and get going. Um... I, I'm kind of of the thought that why not get this challenge done as quickly as possible, which is why I went the wrong way there. Oh, I just knew there would be really, really two two testicles. Um, I'm kind of of the uh, opinion that why not get the challenge done as quickly as possible. Uh, that way we can look at some of the other challenges and see if any of them have really cool uh, synergistic implications, if you will, because um, no, nothing, you know, nothing against challenge 69 here. Um, but there's not soup there's not a ton of room for synergy. And that's typically what I enjoy. Like when we did the um well the uh the math challenge was obviously just a complete alteration of what the what it means to be a kid and what it means to be a game. Um big horn. You're gonna get big flied. Um But yeah, obviously not all uh, every mod oh god I not every mod is going to be as revolutionizing as that. Uh, launch HP up. I will take Dark Bomb because it's a great pickup. Dark Bomb. I got a little sacrifice for you here. Um, but this mod, the reason I picked this one is is really before it's um, just the, the mass amount of content. When I saw that there were 101 different challenges, like, I don't know. If you're like me, then you might also just get tired of Eden streaking every every now and again. Sometimes it just gets a little boring doing the same thing over and over and over again. Sometimes it's nice having, like, a, a destination. And I know there is a mod out there right now that adds a destination, kind of like challenges do to, um, to mods. But it's nice having, like, um, <clears throat> tailored. Taylor, like, when you start with Eden, you start with two random items. Does it sometimes work out that there's a really cool synergy involved? Yes. Um, but a lot of the times you end up um, just with random items that don't really have a lot of interaction together. And so it's nice having um, someone make a ton of uh, challenges, 101 to be exact, uh, that could potentially have some synergistic implications. That's my new favorite saying, and also what I'm going to be naming my 1950s grunge metal band. Well, grunge metal wasn't in the 1950s. Well, you, I'm going to bring it there like Marty McFly did. Uh, secret room here, probably, although I messed up the bomb placement. So I'm still convinced it's there. I just think that I messed up the bomb placement. Uh, we're probably going to have the flies necessary to devastate our boss once we reach him. 
Where are we at? We're at, uh, oh, we're at the Depths XL. That's why it's so, I, that's why it's so large, which is nice because it means we'll be done with the challenge after this one. And we'll say, hey, I'm the greatest of all time. And even though I don't remember the name of the challenge, we beat it. We done here? No, we got one more. Which way do you think, Tom? All right, Tom. Well, you've, you've shafted me. However, you did find this random room with Maggie's bow. So you're not completely out of my good looks, my good fortunes. Is that... Yeah, that sounds right. I'll go ahead and use uh, the flies here, although we could be nearing our boss fight. I don't know what these king ones have other than a ton of HP. Sometimes they drop consumables as well, but I don't know what uh, what controls that. Two cards here, Wheel of Fortune and a Strength. I think we'll take High Priestess because it'll pretty much devastate our first boss, or depending on the boss, of course. And repeating, of course. Um, and then we can use the flies on mom's foot to get through that one relatively quickly. These guys are getting feared and, uh, oh god, their patterns are becoming erratic and unpredictable. Please, they're like a serial killer who's all out of Captain Crush. Oh god, please, don't turn around like that. If I wanted you to turn around, I would have sung, turn around. Every now and then I want you to hit me because I have so much HP. Something like that. You hear that bassy baritone? Basically Barry Manilow up in here. Is that a singer? Could be a baseball player. Okay, okay. Oh, that's Barry Bonds, you say. Well, you're you're not wrong. He is a baseball player. Thank you for the no spirit hearts because, you know, I'm getting a little worried about HP. You know, just slightly. And also we've gone the completely, complete and utter wrong way. Excuse me, no text right now. No text right now, I'm at work. I'm working hard. Dude, I wish this was my job. Someday, somehow I'm gonna make it all right, but not right now. That's the hope, you know, obviously, is that someday. Although you probably, actually this is our secret room, but uh, probably don't have what it takes to, to make it the profession, but at the very least it could be a very fun hobby for many years to come. And you know, that's all that really matters. Okay, we see our boss room. I don't have the bombs necessary to make it over there, so I'm sorry. Void portal, I need you gone. I need you gone. That's not a song. Though if it was a song, it'd probably be sung by Carrie Underwood. Good, I hope he said it at the same time. Algis, you know, good to know. I will go ahead and bomb this. Oh, but the choices. I don't think we can reach both the golden chest and the tinted rock, so I'm gonna uh, put Tinted Rock first. Really, though? This is still not the right way, because it's over... It could technically go down and lead around. I'm gonna assume that's what it does. I'm gonna assume. This is the largest XL floor I've ever seen in my entire life, and I have seen your mother's XL floor. Oh my god, it's not right. Please, though, end me. If I don't find this boss fight soon, I'm gonna ask you to end me. Um... But yeah, I'm excited to see some of the other, because obviously there's 101, and so trying to, it's, do you know how hard it is? I'm not even going to like, do you know how difficult it is, thank you Dark Bomb, to not say Dalmatians after every time that I say 101. I've never even seen the god dang movie. It's still so hard. Oh, you've never seen 101? No, why would I watch 101 Dalmatians? Not watching it for the plot line, that's for sure. Cruella de Vil's hot, yeah, you know. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And I don't know what you're beholding, but it's, you know, maybe you should be beholding some glasses on your face. Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't even know what Cruella, Cruella, <laughs> isn't that a type of cookie? <laughs> I don't even know what Cruella DeVille looks like. I always get her mixed up with uh, Ursula from Talking Dead. Just kidding. From, oh God, please, with the random movements. Um, I always get her mixed up with uh, Ursula, or Urkula, or whatever her name is, from uh, Little Mermaid, which I also haven't seen. Thank you for, th this run has been gifting us a lot of spirit hearts, which I just have to say thanks to, because I've been taking some dumb damage. Also, it, our spawn room was literally three rooms away from this room, I'm pretty sure, like wasn't it this one right here? I'm pointing, you can't see it. Wasn't it three rooms away from this one? Maybe it was like the top one there, right next to the room with the star, I can't remember. However, what I'm trying to say basically is that we could have been done here a long time ago. Why not fly it up? Fly it up, fly it up. We're still gonna have a bunch of flies ready for the next room. I will take Blue Cap. We will fight the mom. She's gonna stomp on that tinted rock for us and we'll pretty much end her life like almost immediately. A um, Couple more hits and she'll be done here. And then we will claim our victory, excuse me. That uh, little thing over there says mom's foot. Can't help but notice that uh, we just beat mom's foot. 
And uh, there's no golden trophy here. Sometimes when I'm confused, I talk like I'm from Boston. Jeepers! Did people from Boston say Jeepers? What's with all the books, man? I mean, obviously these items are fantastic. But I think I'd rather, like, let me just go the next four. Maybe it'll just end. There's no trophy. No trophy was coded in. It still says Mom's Foot, but it also says no trophy. I think that means no achievements. Um, I don't know what's going on, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to exit this challenge. We didn't really get that many items over the course of this run. I'm the greatest. I'm going to go ahead and exit this challenge um, because I think it was supposed to end there. I'll probably leave a little comment on the dude's post and be like, hey, we want to check this out. That was a little weird. But while we have some time left, because that was only 20 minutes, we basically have 10 minutes to uh, go through and look. Okay, so this is Covenant Start. Oh, does it say like Covenant Start, Covenant End? That's kind of that's kind of handy. Uh, we might as well go through some of these and just see if any of them have some cool stuff going on. This one's Where is Mommy? Where is Daddy? We start with Rosary, Trinket Bag, and, and uh, Chemical Peel. Do I understand why? No, I do not. But, you know, that's what we start with. Other challenges. I'm going to go through. Let's go through the ones that sound cool. Heartless. This one sounds interesting. Do we have no hearts? Do we start as the Lost? We start with actually many hearts. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief and experimental treatment. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing there. Actually, sort of, maybe. Uh, next challenge, break the bank, going down on history, leaving for a spell, unturned graves. Let's see daddy where'd mommy go. I like daddy where, da dad's coin. Do we start with dad's coin? Uh, we start with toothy shot, soul generator, and sacrificial dagger. Hmm. I'm trying to, to piece some things together here to try to figure out why we would start with those things. Orphan. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, betrayal. Fate's Reward. Treasure Map. What was this one called? I want to see something real fast, and I'm just, I'm just checking. If you do the same challenge again, do you actually start with the same items, or is it three random items every time? Okay, it actually is the same items, so they are themed in some way. I just don't possess the brain power, or the at least the the, the knowledge, I guess. Cry your eyes out. Crazy tier stat, maybe? Crazy high tier stat? Uh, you do get sad on an Epiphoria, and Isaac's tears. Okay, so I, I get that one. I see it. I got that one. I need, I need my lore spoon fed to me, you don't understand? You can't go straight in there with a fork or I'll freaking stab myself. My own reflection, gonna guess my reflection, is maybe one of the items that, that you that you get here. Wow, oh Jesus. My reflection, tiny planet, small rock is a really weird combination. See like this is a fun one. This is one I could have some fun with. Cause the my reflection shots bring the tiny planet shots back at you and then they end up just like kind of reaching an equilibrium where they're just like, I don't know where to go, and then they just fall. Um, okay, so that one's pretty cool. See, I, there's going to be, you know, in 101 challenges, challenations, in 101 challenges, there's obviously going to be some pretty dope ones in here. It's just uh, trying to find. Let's try one may lose bonds, but never the memo. Um, what do we got here? Ball of bandages, freaking fly, forget me now. Did it say something about forgetting? I wonder if these are all like, are these all like, I was going to say are these Bible quotes, but I don't feel like daddy where to mommy go are Bible quotes. I think these are refer those references to um, shackles. I believe those are references to that. The Isaac lore. Let's try a couple more, maybe. Let's try one more. Some of these are so long. Let's try Crossbones of Terror. Please give me Bone Tears. Crossbones of Terror, we start with Bone Tears, Scythes, and Little Haunt. It's pretty dope. I'm not going to do the whole run, obviously. And this one also says it goes to Mom's Foot. Uh, and so I think there might be a glitch right now where it's not exactly letting you um, go into that. Uh, but basically, yeah, what you see is what you get. So the, the Covenant Challenge, um, the Covenant Mod, adds 101 custom challenges. Uh, for you to test your skills, basically, of, uh, I mean, it's just a lot of content is what I'm going to say. This is this is one where uh, it's not like the, the math challenge where it's only a single thing where it just, like, completely changes everything. Um, a lot of it are, is very, like father, like son. A lot of it um, is very 
Is my father a doctor? And has a rainbow child? Okay, well, um, what you get with this mod is tons of more time. I mean, if each run takes you like 20 minutes, then doing 100 of those runs would be like 20 times three is an hour. So 100 divided by three, it's like 33 hours of extra content. Did I do my math right, daddy? Um, that's like 100 extra, no, <laughs> that's like 33 extra hours of content. So, that's what you're down for. Go ahead and check this mod out because there's a ton of extra content um, to be played. That's the Covenant mod by a modder. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That ha This has been Let's Demo, the series where we test out uh, some of the newest up-and-coming Isaac mods on the Steam Workshop page. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.